everyone, my name is Quentin Gauthier, and today we're going to be going over the Up in Smoke lab for the 1032 laboratory section. Now, normally we'd be doing this lab in class with everyone here, but this year we're going to be trying something a little bit different, and we're going to be doing this lab all at once online, and you guys are going to be using the data that we collect and going through the data tables, going through the calculations, and then you're going to have a discussion about first-hand smoke versus second-hand smoke and about having a filtered cigarette versus an unfiltered cigarette. So before me, you can see the setup that we have to do this experiment. In the center here is where we're going to have our cigarettes. They're, the cigarette will be held right into this little cup and we're going to light it and we're going to let the smoke from the cigarette go to the different tubes. The first-hand smoke is going to go down the bottom through this tube and into this flask. Now, in this flask, we're going to have a filter paper on top of this stopper. What the filter paper is going to do is collect all of the smoke, the tar, all of the chemicals that are going through this tube and would end up in the lungs of the smoker. Similarly, we're going to have the secondhand smoke being collected. The secondhand smoke is going to rise up from the cigarette, going through this tube and down to this stopper. And again, we're going to have a filter paper on this stopper to collect all of the sediment. The filter papers that we're using look something like this. Now, in order to figure out how much of the cigarette smoke is being collected onto a filter paper after the cigarette has been burned, we have to first weigh the, uh, the, weighing paper, or the filter paper, and then we'll be able to count or minus out the original weight from the final weight and tell us exactly how much was collected on the filter paper. To start off, we're going to have our unfiltered cigarette, and we need to know how much it weighs before it gets burned. So we're going to put it onto our balance, shut the door, and see that it comes out to about 0.922 grams. To weigh our filter paper, we're going to use one of these balances. Now, the first thing to do is make sure that there's nothing on the balance, hit the zero button to make sure it's completely zeroed out, Place your filter paper directly on the balance, shut the door, and wait a few seconds to let it equilibrate. Then you're going to see that the weight is approximately 0.642 grams. You don't need to worry about that number. We're going to be giving you guys a data table uh, that you'll be able to use for all of your calculations later on, so just ignore that number for now. Now that we have our filter papers weighed out, we're able to put them onto the stoppers. So we just take the stopper out fold the filter paper around the end of it. And this is what's going to allow us to capture all of the solids that are passing through these tubes and onto the filter paper. Now these are the solids that would normally be going into the lungs of the smoker and out into the air and possibly into the lungs of anyone that's nearby. With this part done, we're able to turn on the vacuums, which is what's going to start sucking the air through all of these tubes. Now, we want to try to make it so that the cigarette is going to burn for approximately three minutes. This is what's going to help us simulate uh, to the best of our ability what a uh, actual cigarette smoking would be like. Now, it's important to adjust the vacuums so that it doesn't burn too quickly and so that we're still capturing as much smoke as possible on each end of our experiment. Alright, so at this point we've managed to completely uh, burn down the cigarette and so we're ready to collect the two filter papers, weigh them again, and figure out how much solid was collected on them. So now that we've finished burning the cigarette, we're able to take the filter paper off of the stopper. So here you can see on our first-hand smoke, this is what was captured onto our filter paper, and this is what we're going to weigh to figure out how much of the cigarette ended up onto our filter paper. On the other side, we have the second-hand smoke, which you can see is significantly less than what was on the first-hand smoke, and that makes sense. So once again, we're back in our balance. We have our first-hand smoke filter paper, 
that we're going to weigh out. And see that it's now about 0.737 grams, which is approximately 0.95 greater than what we saw earlier, or 0 0.095 grams greater than what we saw earlier. Now we're going to weigh out the secondhand smoke filter paper. And it comes out to about 0.654, which is only about 0 0.012 grams higher than what we saw earlier. So again, this is showing that there's about five, six times more uh, solids going out into the first-hand smoker than there are going to the second-hand smoker. So now that we've finished burning the unfiltered cigarette, we have the ashes collected into our little tin, and we're going to put it onto the bounce to see how much is left. Shutting the door. We have approximately 1.126 grams. Now keep in mind, this is including the little tin that all of the ashes are in. So we have to minus out the weight of the tin. And finally, with the exact same procedure as with the unfiltered cigarette and the cigar, we're going to do the filtered cigarette. So we have our filter papers placed in front of the stoppers. We turn on our vacuums. And we light the cigarette. same procedure that we did for the unfiltered cigarette we're going to use for the cigar. Now we have our filtered papers placed in front of our stoppers after initially weighing them. We're going to turn on the vacuums and light the cigar on fire. So here we have the data table that you guys are going to make your calculations with. So as you can see on the left, we have the mass of the filter paper before, the mass of the filter paper plus the solid that was collected from the cigarette smoke. And you're going to have to calculate how much solid was deposited onto the filter paper. Next, we have the mass of the cigarette when before burning, the mass of the cigarette after it was burned. And then you have to calculate how much of the cigarette was consumed then you're going to calculate out the milligrams of solid per gram consumed. So here we have the mass of the cigarette consumed. Here we have the mass of the solid on the filter paper, which is what we calculated here. And you just have to divide this number by this number to get the milligrams of solid per gram consumed. You're going to repeat this process for the unfiltered first hand and second hand, the filtered first hand and second hand, and the cigar first-hand and second-hand smoke. Now that we've completed the experiment, I'd like for all of you to go online onto Blackboard and look into the Up and Smoke folder. There, you're going to see that you've been assigned a role. Now, that role could be anything from a smoker, a non-smoker, a restaurant owner, a townsperson, or a lawmaker. And I want you to think about the possible pros and cons of allowing smoking to be indoors, outdoors, at a bar, at a restaurant, wherever it may be. Be prepared to have this discussion in class in the upcoming weeks. Please look online for the specific date of when your discussion will be.